Hey guys, it's Chucky J, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install 8GB of RAM into the Dell Inspiron N5040. Um, so, in order to get the correct kind of RAM, you would have to uh, look at what specific kind is in yours. But as you can see here, they're exactly alike. Um, so that's all taken care of. I already know I have the correct size. And as when you're doing any work with a laptop, you always have to remove the battery. So how you do that on this laptop is on the right side here, it's a slide latch. And over here, it's it's like a spring latch. Uh, you actually have to hold and push out. And then here's your battery. You just need to take it out in the event that you accidentally short out a terminal. Uh, so, flip the laptop over again. Okay, from this point, you're going to open the laptop up. And, uh, you'll be faced with your laptop. Um... At this point, you're going to need to find a flathead screwdriver, a very small one to be precise. Um, something like this will do. Some, it's like smaller than my finger, way smaller than my finger, and it's very, very thin. So, what you need to do is you need to locate the keyboard tabs. Um, this will be above the delete key above F11 and between F5 and F6 and right above escape um i can't i have to do it with two hands but uh i'll show you what it's supposed to look like when you're done And uh, you, and depending on how careful you are, you may, on mistake, mark up the keyboard a little bit. Not the keyboard itself, but the uh, plastic around it. And uh, don't be afraid to really dig in there. There's just metal underneath, so you're not going to damage any important internal uh, things. And uh, once you have one side up, you just push all of the tabs in. And, uh, eventually, your keyboard comes free completely. Um, you just take it and pull it out like that, and your keyboard is almost free. Um, at this point, you just take it and flip it on its back like this. <coughs> you take your flathead screwdriver and, uh, pop that flap up and, uh, pull that right out of there. As you can see, I have no RAM in here, as I've already taken the time to remove the old RAM so I can put the new in. Um, so you're going to want to put your uh, primary one, or in other words, the one that originally came with your laptop. You're going to want to put that in the bottom slot, because that's uh, A. And uh, you have to make sure that this, this little... Uh, separation right here that matches up with um that little black thing right there otherwise you will end up damaging it trying to put it in so you put it in at an angle like this you push and then snaps down like that uh that's a, po a space saving design i think that's pretty neat uh same for the other one it's kind of hard to see but um right over here is where it is you can't even see it on the video but uh... it is right here and uh... what you're gonna want to do at that point is uh... yeah it's all right here so at that point you're gonna take your other ram and uh... stick it in just as you did for the other one just stick it right in there at an angle again and make sure you press it in nice and good not too hard because you may damage it but just hard enough so you know that it's in all the way and then press down now you have both of your ram cards inserted 
Now all that's left is to put the keyboard back on. Okay, at this point, you're going to want to um, put your keyboard back in. So lay it on its back like this. Just have it upright like this and just lay it down. What you want to do now is make sure that tab is still up and you're just going to pop that right in there. It is going to take a bit of effort, but um, you'll get it eventually. Okay, so through the power of YouTube, I was able to time-lapse five minutes. That's how long it took me to get that ribbon cable in. It is a pain in the neck, so uh, be careful. <coughs> so at this point, you're going to see these tabs on the bottom of the keyboard. They go all over along the bottom, and there's going to be um, little tabs in here, and you're going to take those, line them up, and... Uh, at an angle, as usual, just stick it in, just like that. And then you let the keyboard hang down, and you press down on all of the points. And, uh, that's it for the RAM installation. Now you just need to put the battery back in. Okay, so I have the battery back in, and, uh, I was able to do it correctly and now we're going to turn it on as you can see the computer is functioning properly uh, Windows 8 is booting right up and uh, don't mind my sticker looks can be deceiving I actually uh, went out and bought Windows 8 I heard it was good So we're just going to let this boot up. I'll do a little time lapse so you don't have to sit through this. Okay, just for proof, um, I did a time lapse, skipped all that, just to prove everything is working all good. I'm going to log in. As you can see, when I type characters on the keyboard, they appear. So keyboard is all in order, working fine. Uh, I'm not going to let you guys see my password. Okay, so I finally got this thing all figured out. Um, it's still at a 4.0 because uh, for some reason it, there's some kind of error running the video card test. But uh, it does show that installed memory is set to 8 instead of 4. So I, it did recognize it, but um, it did not actually uh, update my score. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Uh, we'll see you next time.